Welcome back to the Talos Principle. I want to get to the red puzzles in here, but there's a couple things to do first. And one is that the computer is beeping at me, so apparently it has something new. And the other has to do with a new idea that I just got for this puzzle. But let's do the computer first. Ah, good to have another chat. Ah, you're back. Good. I've been thinking about how I can help you. In light of everything you said, I'm certain someone has to. What I've decided is that, you're convin is that you've convinced me consciousness is a contradictory concept, and is therefore not real. What do you think? I don't agree. I think you're cheating? What does that mean? Well, if consciousness isn't real, then I guess I don't think, apparently. Let's... let's give the, uh... the entity in the archives a bit of sass. Very droll. What this conclusion means is that the certification program you undertook has been rendered obsolete. We can't test for something that doesn't exist. Therefore, you, along with quite a lot of other things, have been recategorized as a person. Your profile can thus be updated with administrator privileges. Seriously? That sounds too good to be true. Are you going to make me download a virus? No doubt you'll be off doing administrator things soon enough, so I wonder if, before I let you go, you do me one favor. I have a final question for you. Why are you doing all this? What's the point? I want the truth. I'm not sure just what you'll find. A malleable sense of the truth will no doubt help you make sense of it. Hmm. Checking user.prof, and it looks as if your ideas are becoming somewhat pliant. Very good. I only have one last request. Will you come back and speak to me sometime? No doubt. Okay, I sense you're eager to get going. Let's do this. Congratulations, your account has been updated. Here are the details. All conflicts have been resolved by the administrator. You are a person. You are perfect just the way you are. You are everything you can be already. You do not have to pretend you are anything else. You are the same as everyone else, but you are all unique. Uh, what? Well, that's a load of drivel, but sure. Okay, administrator status has access to advanced functionalities of networking and troubleshooting. You know, I can't even remember why I wanted administrator privileges in the first place. What the hell did I want them for? I know they're going to allow me to do something. I guess access the com portal? Whatever that is, I don't even remember what that is. Ah, uh, see, they have a number of pending communications. I'll have a look at it right now. Thank you, thank you. Encountered unknown errors, great. Message received a string, okay. Something's talking to me. Who are you? Don't know exactly. Woke up here. Don't remember. Who are you? Ah, I'm in the same boat. Uh, let's meet up. Uh, what about the uh, local Starbucks? You know, the one in the corner of uh, th that place and this place? I'm in the same boat. Let's meet up. I doubt that's possible. 
I understand. Pending. What the? Something, something again soon. Okay, I guess the connection kind of broke. Alright, so I guess he'll talk with me again soon. I have no idea who I just talked to. And apparently they don't know who they are either. Strange. Okay, so here's my idea with this. See, originally I was thinking that uh, perhaps I need to set the date of my computer to this date. And that would allow me to use this, whatever that means. But that didn't seem to work. And then I was thinking that perhaps the date is when this was stamped down, right? When this entry denied was put on was this date. So then here's my new idea. If that's when the entry denied was stamped down, then maybe I need to set my date not... Uh, maybe I need to set the date of my computer not to the date, but to before the date, which would be before it was stamped down. So, let's give it a shot. Since it doesn't need to be a specific date, I can just set it back a couple years and let's see what happens. Let's see. Do, do, do. Yes. How do I go by year? Let's go 2013, sure. Okay, did that actually do it? Yep, 2013. Excellent. No. It still doesn't work. Again, it's possible I have to restart the game, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure the game could easily just pull the current time on my computer without a problem. Alright, well, I guess I'll set it back. Yep, yeah, good to go. I'm really surprised that that didn't work. It feels like it should. Alright. There's nothing left but some red puzzles, so let's just go to the first one. Wrap around the corner. That's a very, very small room. Should be easy then, right? Yeah. Some of these challenges must be designed with cooperation in mind. But I am the only one here. Wait, you didn't have the recorder thing? It sounds like... It sounds like Sheep was missing the recorder tool. That's strange. The only way this could possibly work is that if the recording doesn't just make a copy of the person, but of the connector that they're holding. But that's the only way this can work, right? Because I need two connectors. Okay, so in that case... Um, well, when I'm making a recording, I can't connect to something that doesn't exist. So I believe what I'd need to do... ...is probably point it to that. And then, I guess let's just leave this here. Let's give it a little bit. I don't know if I actually made a copy... ...of the connector. I guess we'll see. Uh, yes, I did! Excellent! <laughs> that is so cool! Thank you, me. I like me. What the hell is that noise? Oh, I guess that's what the recorder sounds like. Sounds like. Hmm. Not sure if I can make that. Forget it. Cool.
Cool beans. Cool legumes. Legumies. Legwems. This one looks fun. Double power. Redundant power. Supply. That's <laughs> going through a crack. Alright, open that to get the box. Wait, what? Hold on, what just happened there? The box was still there in in the recording? So it makes a copy of every object. Every object that you can interact with, at least. Interesting. That's where I need to get, so the point of this is to disable the fan once again. fan is blown pretty hard. Oh, it actually blows it off. Wait, what? Just decided it didn't want to push down the thing. Okay. So obviously I need my clone to stand on that. Needs to stay in place. Um, so it's going to make a copy of the box. Not sure what to do about that yet, but let's just uh, stand here. really help anything at all. I have no idea what to do here. Hold on, is there anything else in here? Hmm. If I could escape the world, it'd be easy enough to just jump on in and get the red piece, but that's obviously not how you're supposed to solve it. You can probably block it by doing this, yeah. Okay, so that's a mounted connector, I can't move it. Okay, well, I mean... I can just do this. Stand here for like 10 seconds and then do the other one. It's obviously not going to really work, though. I mean, it'll disable it, but then... Then what? How long does it stay disabled? Let's see. Oh, quite a while, actually. Yes, 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 yes. Come here. There we go. 
Okay, cool. That actually worked. I was thinking it wouldn't stay disabled for long enough. But it did. Alright, two more to go. At least two more red puzzles. There's obviously a lot more going on here. There's still two stars that I need to get in this whole Sphinx thing. But uh, I'll be right back. Okay, let's move on to this red puzzle, which apparently does not actually make use of the recorder. The right angle. Okay, I'm pretty used to uh, solving puzzles with extreme angles that barely work. This should be no problem. In fact, this puzzle is so easy, it's already solved. Done. See? I'm just gonna leave. It's, it's, it's complete. I have the sigil. those things. Whoa. There's a fan in there? What the hell? <gasps> There's a star! Okay. So, the fan is just to get you out of it, obviously, so... Question is, how do you get inside of it? We'll figure that out later. First thing I need is red power. Of course it's a slow one. Why wouldn't it be? right angle. Like that, for example. Hold on, is there anything else more out here? This way? Dead end? Okay. Does this have collision? Yes, it does. No, don't reset. I can actually stand up here, which might allow me to get up above something. There's something about that pyramid. I wonder if I get out there if I could actually run to it. I would think the world would end before that, but I don't know, maybe it's a special case. It seems that mistakes are easily forgiven here. I thought I had surely died, yet here I am, reset, rebooted, reborn. I will tackle these challenges anew. Epitaph Child Program, codename Samsara terminated here, Pro uh, program failed to pass random memory test. Final memory dump, being torn limb from limb by machines for the rest of eternity becomes less and less appealing to me. Actually, that can't... <coughs> Excuse me. I can't even reach it, so let's put this here. Hmm, that needs to charge for too long. What in the balls? What in the big hairy balls am I supposed to do about this? Does the beam hit this? Uh, I 
can't tell. I'm not sure if it's going to hit that one. Alright, well, I could block this one. Like, I could just do that, and then it's not even a problem. Ow. That probably makes it go far enough over the other one that it's not a problem there either. Maybe. No, it went black for a second. So it's still not good enough. I'm not sure why I'm doing this, because it still doesn't solve the problem. balls. Okay, let's see if it goes black. Ah, yeah, it's totally going black. Just take these in here. Just fuck off. In fact, that's... You know what? That's actually probably it. The box is probably meant for that. And... If I'm gonna do that, I might as well just put this on the box. Okay, steady power. Mm, these are out of sync. I don't think that's a good thing. Uh, but once again, I should be able to stop one of them using the connector itself. Okay, is that gonna work? Nah, it's not the right angle. Well, let's see if this one works. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh! There we go. Just got it. It's all about the angle. Oh, I have all the stuff to get into tower number two. Or floor number two of the tower, I mean. What the? Hello? What is that doing there? It's probably related to the star, I assume. Okay, that controls this, but I can just take it out with me. Okay. Cool. How would that allow me to get in there? I mean, a stack of two is nice and all, but... I don't see how I can get on a stack of two. Do you want to disassemble my beautiful contraption here? suppose why not? I don't think anywhere outside is going to allow me to get over that. No. It's way too tall. i got to get at it from the inside. So let's just grab this. You know, this going to drive me nuts. That noise. Just stop. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I just don't have a way of getting up on these. I need high ground.
Or if I could, like, get up on the wall here. And then, like, jump onto the stack of boxes if it was here. You know? Jump from the wall here, jump to the stack of boxes, and then jump over. Actually, I don't even think I could make that jump. To get over the wall? This doesn't look high enough. I don't know if another one would do it. You know, I wonder how far that thing blows me. Do you think it'd blow me on top of the Sphinx? There's no way to tell how far it's going to blow you. You can never tell the strength of a fan's blowjob. Hmm. Well, running around this thing in a circle is not going to solve anything. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to work at this and I'll be right back. Okay, I have a little bit of a development here. So I managed to keep this outside here constantly open without using a box by using two of these connectors. Because the the end uh, the end thing there that needs power, it doesn't care. It just needs to be getting power from something. From one source. So if you have multiple sources providing it the same color of power, then it doesn't matter if one gets interrupted. Because it's always receiving power from at least one place. So that allows me to keep this outside open without using the box, which means I can take both boxes inside of here. And remember this little spot I found here that does actually have collision, which allows me to actually get a little bit higher, which allows me to jump up on a stack of two boxes. And then do this. Is this going to help me get the star? I don't know, but it does allow me to escape. I don't think it's going to allow me to run towards the pyramid. Let's not do that right now, because I don't want to mess up everything that I set up already. Um, if I got the stack of boxes closer, I might be able to take one with me. I don't know whether that would help. Let's check. Yeah, that's really high. A stack of two boxes would not help me get up there. Yeah, I don't think this is going to do it. I don't think this is related to getting in there. In the beginning were the words. Hmm. In the oh no. <laughs> Why? I barely had any time to do anything. Shit. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so I spent a while at this one, and I don't know the solution. But here's what I do know. I can get one box outside of this chamber and run around the outside. So if another puzzle room needs an extra box, I could potentially do that. And... If I can get a box from somewhere else into this room, then that would also allow me to most likely get the star. Because then I can use the two boxes that I currently have to make a two stack, then use the one box to jump up on, and then jump from there to the two stack, and then jump over. So I can get a box out of here, and if I can get a box in here, I can also get the, get the star. Alright, where's the last one? Looks like this one's pulling out all the stops. A fan, cubes, and connectors. A box up high. What is this? I shall not allow the corruption of my garden. Be gone! Yeah. Thank you for restoring the garden. I guess he just did a system restore. There's the box on high. Looks like there's a fan behind it.
Okay, blue power. So ultimately I need red power. Let's go ahead and get the box. <laughs> Let me guess, I don't have the angle. Nope. Of course not. Well, I could use this to weigh this down. I don't see why I would need this here. So for the moment, I'm just going to do this. I think ultimately, maybe I am going to need it. I'm probably going to have to put a connector up on a box. And raise it up there, maybe? But uh, for now, I just need to get the box in the first place. Which means... I suppose ignore the red power? Hold on. Yes, let's ignore the red power for now. What do we need to do? We need to do is just use these connectors to get the blue power to get the box at the moment. Plop that there. What the? Uh, okay. So many lasers. Thank you. Okay, so that's done, so now I don't need to worry about the blue power for the most part, except insofar as I need to open up here. So now we probably need to do the whole box connector thing. Wait. I need something more. What am I missing? Because I need all these things inside of here, right? Well, let me test something first. Oh shit, it needs power. Right. Um... Still not enough, though. But I can lock this inside. If I get this all set up, I can lock it inside and just leave the take take that connector off. Okay. Oh, wait. What was that? Jump here. Sure. Doesn't help anything, but cool. Okay. Hold on. I've actually got an extra connector that I forgot about. Come here. Yeah, I think this'll work. So we leave that. This is the connector that goes on top of here. Uh, hmm. Yeah, so we just leave it there for now. Uh, put that there, put that there. In fact, we don't even need to power this with red power from the outside. We can just power it right here. Yeah. Okay. 
That frees up a lot of things. Sweet. So that gives me what? That gives me just one connector to work with. Is that enough? Oh yeah, it is. Sweet. Okay, that's all of the puzzles, but there's still two stars missing, so this place is not even close to complete. Stupid Sphinx. So I know there's a star inside of here, but I don't know how to get it. I don't know where the other star is. I know there's a secret thing. <coughs> Excuse me. I know there's a secret thing bef behind the spawn point. The whole thing with the date and the entry denied, but I have no idea how to get in there. Is there a spare box in here? I, I mean, could I get a spare box out of here? Because if I can and take it to the other room, then that would allow me to get the first star. There's only one box, right? Yeah, there's just one box. It's not very helpful. How do I go about getting this outside? I don't think it's gonna happen. Well, hold on, do I have collision with these things? Eh, nah. It's not enough. Okay, well, I'm gonna try some things and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I spent some time jumping around trying to find ways to get boxes in and out of puzzle rooms and I completely failed. However, I did just find something. Okay, remember the message from the Sphinx said, well, I won't run all the way over there, but it said like, the burning heart looks to the highest peak. And I was thinking there's something up there, right? I can't see anything. But I was thinking maybe there's something up there. Given that I think it was talking you know, talking about the peak of the pyramid, but I can't see anything. I was thinking maybe I can go out of bounds and just run towards it. And I thought, you know what, even though I can't actually see anything, why don't I try just using a connector on it? And guess what I found? There's something up there. I can't really see it, but apparently there's something up there. I see something like a couple pixels flashing. Wait, so I'm receiving blue power? So it doesn't need power, it's giving me blue power. What would I need that for? Okay, so that's got to be used for a star somewhere. Okay, so essentially I have blue power that I can access from any puzzle room. But, yeah, how does that help? There's no blue power in here. needs a blue power. I'm gonna keep working at this and I'll be right back. Okay, I just found something more. Um, I didn't exactly solve the thing with the pyramid. I've just been getting the blue power from the pyramid and doing nothing with it because I don't know what needs blue power. Like in this case, instead of using the replay thing to solve this puzzle, I just use that doesn't actually do anything. Uh, but yeah, just got a bunch of power lines going to it. 
It's not accomplishing anything, but here's what I did just discover. Remember I was trying to make this jump before? I tried it a couple times. Well, you can do it. And there's something more. There's something right on the other side of here. There's freaking explosives. Okay, so <laughs> what am I going to do? Blow up the Sphinx? Blow up the wall that uh, says entry denied? I don't know. This is freaking insane. But uh, before I do any of that, let's just see how far I can go. Really? I'm just going in between puzzle rooms. Okay, um, I still have the explosives, right? It's, I actually probably don't. Let me check. Yeah, that reset everything. Even the other beams go into the top of this thing. Whoops. Yeah, so the pyramid is supplying power, not taking it. So I need something that... I need to find something that needs power. Okay. Alright, got those. Now, what do I blow up? Let's try this. Nope. It is an invisible inventory item, so... I'm completely beholden to when the game decides I should be using it. Let's go try the Sphinx. Bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop, bunny hop. Well, if I can't solve the riddle, let's blow it up. I would need a use to pop up, though. I mean, really, what, what do I want to blow up? Aside from the door back there that I couldn't open. Aside from that, like, what would I actually want to blow up? I have no idea. I'm not seeing a use. I don't know. Do I want to blow up the ass of the Sphinx? I'm just mashing the use key as I go around this thing. Hello. It seems we're going to make a breach. <laughs> this is so cool. All right. Run. Ah. Uh. Jesus Christ, Sam! Do you have to blow everything up? <laughs> is that just an Easter egg? Well, unfortunately, Sam does have to blow everything up. Sam is very serious, you see. It just fizzled. Balls. Well, that was cool, but that doesn't solve the mystery of the Sphinx or how to get to that one star that I found, or how to find the other star, or why the hell I'm being supplied blue power from the top of the pyramid. I don't get it. What do I do? I don't know what that's for. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna work at this a bit more. Alright, well, I've spent a very long time at this and I've made very little progress. I mean, I have found that there's something at the top of the pyramid, which is nice. And I found the Easter egg... Uh, TNT. But I haven't really made any progress towards getting the stars. 
but I'll take another crack at it for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.